Hello there, my name is Rachel. The first time seeing my channel, use review cartoon series and a mystery. So, let's open in Copy to Random. And today, we're going to talk about Jellystone, a new HBO Max original. Now, this anime series was made for one super reason it's basically re reintroduced the, the Harry Barbaro collection of all the characters they have because one of those is very stingy and very protected of the Harry Barbaro characters because they only use three the Flintstones, Scooby Doo, and sometimes we're very really lucky the Jetsons, and that basically what they use the most. The rest of it, they just sort of live it in the storage and never use them. I think they're so protective that every time the adult twin want to make a parody or want to use the characters, they say no. So it's sort of rare if you actually have a chance to see them or even a cameo because they're just really protected. But besides that, this show does a great job. It's one of those, it's sort of not surprising because the person who was in charge of creating this series was the same person who created Charter. If you've seen Charter, Charter is a very traditional self-aware cartoon and it takes the same ideas of principles, how you make a classic cartoon to Jenny Stone. And I love it even more and respect all the characters. Of course, they did some changes, maybe piss you off, or maybe you don't, I really don't know, but be, be fair, Harry Potter characters are sort of one note of characters, none of them really deep, but that's the whole point of Jenny Stone to reintroduce them and sort of explore some of the ideas of some of the characters. Like one of the big examples is one of our main leads of Yogi and Boo Boo. They, they, there is an episode they actually explore with their relationship, like Usually you see Yogi uh, Boo Boo is Yogi usually is the lead and uh, Boo Boo is sort of the follower. He doesn't ask questions. He just does this. Of course, he sort of questions sometimes, but other than that, that's, that's basically what their dynamic is. And this one actually explores why uh, Boo Boo never stands out, never tries to get out of uh, Yogi's shadow in other words and that's sort of the fun they actually explored that one thing they're so well known of and going deeper now the story of jenny stone is basically following yogi boo boo and city if i'm correct they basically are the big leads and main hospital doctors in jenny stone they mean almost every single character of Jenny Stone, whatever problems they have of illness injuries or just having great advice but you just don't focus on them. You also focus on other side characters like Doggy Daddy, that he has issues with his daughter, that he served a helicopter parent and never stopped letting her go. It's almost like an addiction. You also have follow like uh, Erica Bomb, that it's sort of strange to see Erica Bomb because he's usually a kind of like a white person trying to be Mexican, and this version he's just full Mexican and just sort of, okay, I, I guess I could go with this. You also have other characters that like Jabberjaw, that is now a female character, well, the Three Stooges, uh, Curly influence. And do you have this sort of weird things, changes they do, which just throw you like a left curve. But it doesn't win the characters. No, this one of the shows, they understand the characters. Even the characters are not as well developed. There's some characters they do change a lot because they honestly, they don't have much to work with. So yeah, you have to do something completely different. And also, especially what they do, it change almost like, like, like to say half or what the half, a good 30% of Harry Potter characters to female for, I guess, because to make it even, once more, I'm guessing because Harry Potter characters are usually just guys. Good 90% of all the characters are just male, and that small 10% are just female. So they just sort of decide to change some of the characters to female, at least the less well-known ones, so they don't get backlash. Hopefully they don't, because they did handle the best they can. And I truly did enjoy some of the changes, because some of them, they really didn't have a much of personality. Usually they're just one known character, and they had add stuff to it a little bit more. So they actually took a little risk here and there, but at the end, it is well handled. Especially the animation is great of this one because it really shows they have the budget. It also shows how to use it correctly. For example, they have a, like a character being punched by like other side of the 
town, but you felt the punch, you understand the distance and the weight of the punch. That takes a lot of creativity and understanding of the weight of the character. You also, the comedy, oh my god, the comedy, it's gold. And the comedy is one of those that sort of, we know the rules, we know how we can't go dark, but we'll go dark because we're our cartoons. And that's the thing that they they like you know the rules that you can't use blood. They can use red paint or ketchup, and they set it up like a murder scene, and they sort of make it like a fake out, like oh my god, you can kill by blood or something like that. But once more, it's self aware, and it's set up like a joke, so it works super well. It's one of those that they're very sharp comedy, in other words, and that's I respect. I respect everything. Everything they did here. Now, I get really nothing else to say. Just one question. Do you see this series? Do you hate it? Do you love it? you like to change it? Tell me down below. Let me know. I got nothing else to say. Just thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful day. Bye.